As we enter into another year of virtual learning for many students, we as educators need to continue to be transformative in our instruction and how we engage our students. Whether face-to-face -face or online, students want to be involved in their learning. As digital technology increases in all our lives, handing out worksheets and having students sit watching videos is not the most engaging. With social media, students are more aware of issues and events in their community, state, and globally. Problems can be overwhelming. Instruction and topics need to be relevant to the student. They need to be allowed to explore the issues and develop solutions in order to gain a sense of stability and normalcy in their lives. During this presentation, I will discuss three topics, active inquiry, collaboration, and integrating technology in the classroom. Constructivism, developed by Jean Piaget, is the underlying framework of active inquiry. The active inquiry process involves the use of a central question to drive instruction and student-led research and activities rather than the student Rather than the teacher introducing a topic and leading students through texts and other resources, a question is posted which encourages students to make a plan for discovery, Edutopia 2015. This seems to be another name for project-based learning. For example, the question could be, what is the best way to develop some land in the area? Should it become a park, a shopping center, a residential area? Investigate how each would impact the area environmentally what could be done proactively to mitigate any negative effects. Inquiry methods of teaching generate positive outcomes in scientific literacy. Students are better able to apply concepts and vocabulary in their schoolwork. They report enjoying and being engaged in subject areas such as chemistry and physics when able to do hands-on activities. As well, critical thinking skills are developed as students navigate the content looking for answers to their own questions. Students cannot be creative if we limit how they learn or show their learning. Research, problem solving, and developing solutions are essential skills in the workplace. In order to facilitate the inquiry process, I would consider the grade level, community issues and problems, and the availability of resources for the students. Having taught third and second grade, questions that involve the school and the local community would work best. I would gather and, and identify resources for them to use. For older students, working on research skills to find resources would be the best part of the process. Activities can range from a teacher demonstration with st students recording their observations, all the way to a wholly developed student and executed experiment. Reflection is an important part of the inquiry method. It allows students to organize their thoughts about the experience. We, they can think about what they did and what can be done differently. Some students can better express themselves in writing. It also creates an opportunity for students to gen generate further questions about the results and set the stage for new experiments. Getting smart. Collaboration is an instructional strategy which has two or more students working together on a project. The completion of the project is dependent on each member of the group assuming roles and responsibilities. The students need to negotiate roles and responsibilities. Materials and resources are shared. Each student needs to contribute information or perform in the process for the goal or project to be achieved, according to the Center for Teaching Innovation, 2019. By using indirect instruction and collaborations, students move from being told the information and how to think about it and they are encouraged to find their information and evaluate and analyze it in a unique way. Riser, Berlin, and Canyon. Instructional strategies such as indirect instruction and collaboration have been shown to support critical thinking and problem solving. Nold, 2017, Khan, 2019. Students are interacting with materials and each other, asking questions and clarifying information. As they go to through the academic work, they are learning to respond to different ideas and opinions in a group setting. These have been identified as critical skills required for school as well as for work. Kavuna, 2015. Activities that support collaboration and engagement in the science classroom are think, pair, share, and group solving problem. 
In Think Pair Share, students are given a question. They each take time to think and write their response. Then the pair shares with each other. This can be augmented to add another pair of students, eventually moving to a large group. Group so problem solving involves giving the students a problem to solve. I think about the spaghetti tower for this. Students have limited resources and criteria, reflecting typical life problems. It can also involve a leadership reaction course where students have a set of materials and need to navigate an obstacle. There is no one way to solve the problem. These encourage creativity. There are many benefits to using and integrating technology in the classroom, especially since science depends on technology. Technology can be integrated in at least two ways, a means to find information and a means to produce a product. It is taken for granted that when a student can navigate through a math program, they can do the same thing using a search engine or information-based website. Just as we instruct on the differences on reading nonfiction and fiction texts, teachers need to have some explicit instruction time on how to navigate an organization's web page or a government produced website. One way technology can be integrated into the classroom is through the use of virtual field trips, Walling, 2014. Students will have access to museums, national parks, and other locations that are not accessible normally. It will help make real world connections to the classroom. Another way to initiate or integrate technology is to use digital feedback and polls. These engage students, provide a positive competition in the classroom, and offer the teacher instant data on how the content is being understood. View Sonic 2014. The teacher can catch misconceptions or a need for reteaching in real time. Effective feedback is fast, relevant, and encourages a positive, motivating classroom experience. Teaching in today's classroom, whether face-to-face -face or virtual, is not without challenges. Students are more discerning and want to know the why and how is this important to me. Teachers need to move forward with strategies which support creativity and problem solving to prepare students for life beyond school.